hands on with the diminutive RX 580 gaming box from Gigabyte. This is an eGPU. This is also an eGPU, yet this one's way smaller. This is Gigabyte's gaming box with an RX 580 inside. It is, to my knowledge, the smallest eGPU enclosure with an RX 580 inside. So you're gonna have lots of power in a very small form factor. Now, with such an enclosure, you're obviously limited when it comes to swapping out graphics cards, but that's sort of the whole point. This thing is in a very, very small package, and you can see how it stacks up next to the PS4 controller. Very, very small. You can see how it stacks up next to an RX 580 as well. And along with the standard display connections, you also get four USB ports. Three of those USB ports are 3.0 ports for data, and one of those ports is dedicated to charging. You also get, obviously, the Thunderbolt 3 connection, which allows you to connect to your MacBook with a single cable, and again, there are your USB ports. And one of the really cool things about the gaming box is that the power supply is completely self-contained within the box, so there's no huge power brick that you have to deal with outside of the gaming box. It's all inside of the eight and a quarter inch by six and a half inch by three and a half inch enclosure. And that enclosure fits inside this little, almost like a little lunch bag that you can use to carry around the gaming box Again, really illustrating its portability. You have a little pouch there for your cables, your Thunderbolt 3 cable. Here's a little side pouch where you can put your power cord. There's also a little loop here that allows you to attach the included shoulder strap. But again, the gaming box simply just slides right in just like that. And then you can zip it on up and you're ready to head out the door and be on your way. Now, let's go ahead and unpack it and let me show you how the gaming box works, how easy it is to set it on up with your MacBook Pro. So I'll just remove the Thunderbolt 3 cable and the power cable. Again, this power cable, there is no huge power brick attached to it because the power supply is fully integrated inside the gaming box, which is super impressive for a device this small. You also get that Thunderbolt 3 cable. So you just plug in the power cable, just like that. Plug in that Thunderbolt 3 cable, and then you plug in the desired display connection. There's one HDMI 2.0 port and three DisplayPort 1.4 ports. And then when you connect the Thunderbolt 3 cable to your MacBook, the unit will automatically power on and you also will notice some RGB lighting that will cycle through various colors. Now Mac users at this point cannot control the various RGB patterns like Windows users, but that could be something that comes in a later update. So I actually went back and connected this to a 4K display that I have instead of my television because the television's HDMI connection is just sort of finicky. But you can see it is connected. The RX 580 is being recognized and it is running at pixel doubled 4K at 60 Hertz. So you can see display port connectivity is good. Now, one of the coolest things about the gaming box is that it's able to deliver up to 100 watts of power to an eligible Thunderbolt 3 enabled computer. So that means it will recharge a MacBook Pro 13 or 15 inch model at full speed. So now we're going to run some benchmarks. Here's the heaven benchmark. And you can see it's pretty decent considering the type of uh, settings that I have configured for heaven. Uh, it's going to be significantly better than you would get with the integrated Intel Iris on my 13 inch MacBook Pro, for instance. And you can see how it stacks up to just a standalone RX 580 in that eGPU enclosure that I showed you earlier. So pretty much neck and neck with that regular RX 580 irregardless of the small form factor and the lack of space that it has to work with for cooling and things of that nature. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the way this thing performs in such a, a confined space and it really does stay relatively cool. It doesn't get overly hot at all like you would expect. And even when I was running this benchmark, it was relatively quiet with no coil whine either. Needless to say, I was impressed with how much power Gigabyte was able to stuff inside this small enclosure. So if you want more power on the go with your MacBook Pro, then I think this could be it. Obviously you'll need to determine whether or not an eGPU will benefit your workflow, but if you've determined that to be true, then a Gigabyte RX 580 gaming box is worth your consideration. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.